maths classes i hope you all are fit and fine at your places now students as you can see that our today's video topic is practice paper 1 part 1 now kids first of all i just want to tell you that we have completed our vedic maths course yes in our last video we have discussed subtraction indirect method now with the indirect method our course is completed of vedic maths now today we will start a practice papers now kids as you can see as the name denotes practice paper now in practice paper you will get all the sums related to your methods which we have studied earlier now kids as we can't discuss all the methods means the methods which we have studied earlier in so many months we can't discuss all the methods in one video so in practice paper you know practice paper contains all types of questions so i have just distributed the practice paper in three parts part 1 part 2 and part 3 so these three parts are of same practice paper that is practice paper 1 i have distributed this practice paper 1 in three parts part 1 part 2 and part 3 Now, kids, in part one, I have put the sums related to subtraction and cross multiplication. Subtraction, we have studied two methods. One was direct, and the second was indirect. And the second is multiplication. in multiplication we have done the sums related to two digit three digit four digit and five digit so students today we will do the sums related to subtraction direct and indirect and multiplication see students this is a revision video yes in this video revision video we will revise the methods which we have studied before now kids if you can't get this method so you can go through the old videos also in my channel see in my channel in old videos we have taken one topic at a time so the whole video based based on the method means one method so in that many sums we have done so the students who will not get this method here they can go through my old videos also now kids first of all we will take subtraction now in subtraction as you know that we have two topics direct and indirect so students direct and indirect method are the two methods with the help of which we can do subtraction sums now some students will find direct method easy some students will find indirect method easy so students i prefer direct method subtraction because it's easy and it's easy to learn the complements also so i will do the sum subtraction sums with the help of direct method here as it is a practice paper so you can use any method those students who find indirect method easy they can go through the indirect method also now first of all we will take the first sum now students it's your first sum you can see the sum is lengthy before starting the sum as you know we use complements in this sum see kids again i am repeating it's a revision video so we are using the method directly if you have not seen the old video means the video which is based on this method only so first of all go through that video and then watch this video now complements now you know that 9 is a complement of 1 2 is the complement of 8 3 is the complement of 7 4 is the complement of 6 and 5 is the complement of 5 now how can you learn these complements see these complements gives Ten. When you will add them, they will give ten. See nine plus one, ten. Two plus eight, ten. Three plus seven, ten. Six 
same way 4 plus 6 and 5 plus 5 also give 10. Now kids, here we go. Now before starting this sum, two things I want to tell you. As you know kids, this is a mismatch number. 7 and 9. It means this. You can't subtract 9 from 7. 7 is less, 9 is more. So this is a mismatch number. So whenever you get a mismatch number, you make the next digit one less. As we have seen in my video also, you will understand it better when you will apply it in the sum. See this is a mismatch number. Now one more thing is there. This is, is also a mismatch number. 9 minus 9 is also a mismatch number. See these are the small small things which we have to apply in our sums. See 9 and 9 is also a mismatch number. Okay. Because these are the, these are same. You can get confused. With them. This is a mismatch number. We can see it clearly. But can this is a mismatch number? Yes this is a mismatch number. If we will get the same digits up and down. They are a mismatch. We will get 0 in the answer. And your next number is a mismatch number. So before 0, you have to write one number, so it will be 9. Yes, like 0 minus 0 comes 0. And next digit is a mismatch number. So 0 will become 9. I will apply it in a little bit more when we will do the sum. Now students, this is your first sum. Now let's start. See, first of all, 6 minus 4. Now you know that we start our calculation from left to right in this direct method. Direct method for subtraction. Normally we used to the calculations from right to left but here we will do the calculations from left to right. Now 6 minus 4 is 2. Now you can see that your next number is a mismatch number. Now you know what is the meaning of mismatch? When the up digit or can say upper digit is less and the lower digit is more means you can't subtract the number. Then it's a mismatch number. So when your next number is a mismatch number, you subtract 1 from the previous number. So 2 will become 1. Means 2 minus 1, 1. Now next. Now how to solve this mismatch number? See, we will take the help of complements. Now, what is the complement of 9? 1. So, 1 is the complement of 9. Then, 1 you will add in the up number. Means, first of all, you will find out the complement of the lower digit. Then, whatever is the complement, you have to add that complement in the upper digit. Now, 9 has the complement 1. Now, 1 plus 8. It's now you can see that your next number is also a mismatch number. So this 9 will become 8. Fine? Very nice. Now next, solve this. Now 6 has a complement 4. Now 4 plus 3, 7. Now kids, you can see that your next number is not a mismatch number. See 4 minus 2 you can do easily. It's not a mismatch number. Upper digit is more, lower digit is less. So this 7 will remain 7. You will not subtract 1 from this number because next digit is not a mismatch number. Now 4 minus 2. is a mismatch number. As I have told you that when you will get same digits up and down they are mismatch numbers. So 0 and 0 is a mismatch number so 2 will become 1. Now 0 minus 0 0 now you can see that your next number is a mismatch number. So 
have told you that whenever you have to make zero one less, so you will make zero nine. Zero will become nine. Means one less. Now seven minus. Now again use the complements. Nine has the complement one. Now seven plus one. Now next digit is again a mismatched number, so it will become seven. Now next. Now what is the complement of eight? Two. Two plus two. Four. So your answer is. One eight seven one nine seven four. Now this is your answer. I hope students you get this method. This method we have done earlier also. We are just revising it again. Now we will move to our next sum. Now, students, this is your second sum. Now we will do the sum directly. See, we have to start the sum from left to right. Normally, you start the equation from right to left, but here we will do from left to right. Now, first of all, you can see that four and two are not mismatched numbers. So, four minus two is two. Now, you can see that your next number is a mismatched number, so two will become one. Directly given. Now next, it is a mismatch number, so solve it with the help of complements. Now, what is the complement of four? Six. Now six plus three. We will add it in the upper number. Six plus three, nine. Nine, and you can see that your next is a mismatch number, so nine will become eight. As I told you, that the same digits are also mismatch numbers, like nine and nine. Eight minus eight, seven minus seven, four minus four. So they are all mismatch numbers. Now nine minus nine. What is nine minus nine? Zero. Now zero you will get. But you can see that your next number is also a mismatch number. So zero you will make it one less. So I told you that whenever you have to make zero one less, you will make it nine. No, so now next, see six and two, or you can say two and six. They are also mismatch numbers. Take the help of complements. Now, what is the complement of six? Four. Four plus two, six. Now six and next is a mismatch number, so six will become five. Same way, eight. Now eight and seven, seven and eight, they are also mismatch numbers. Now, what is the complement of eight? Two plus seven, nine. Nine mismatch number. Nine will become eight. Now the last. What is the complement of six? Four. Now four plus two, six. And this is your answer. See how orally we have done without taking any carry and with the use of complement skits. It needs practice. Yes. Now, kids, we will move to our next subtraction. Now, kids, it's your third sum and the last sum of subtraction direct method. See, I have taken the direct method here because I found it somewhat easy than the indirect. You can use indirect also. It's your choice. Now, kids, let's start. First of all, six minus four, two. You can see that next number is a mismatch number, so two will become one. Now next, see it's a mismatch number. Now we will use a complement. What is the complement of one? Nine. Nine plus zero, nine. So nine, and the next number is also a mismatch number, so nine will become eight. Now next, four and nine. See what is the complement of nine? One, one plus four, five. And next number is not a mismatch number, so five will remain as it is. Next here, nine minus four, five. Directly we can subtract because it is not a 
mismatch number so no need to take the help of complements now 9 minus 4 5 now you can see that the next number is a mismatch number so 5 will become 4 now this now it's a mismatch number take the help of complements you can't subtract it directly what is the complement of 3 7 7 plus 2 9 Next is a mismatch number, so 9 will become 8. Now what is the complement of 8? 2. 2 plus 1? In some seconds I think so, we have taken out the answer with the help of direct method. It just needs practice again and repeating. So your answer is 185, 483. Now with this sum, our revision of subtraction method ends. Now kids, next we will move to multiplication. Now as I have told you that in multiplication there are many topics like 2 digit, 3 digit, 4, 5 digit. We have done 2, 3, 4 and 5 digit multiplication sums. So today we will take only 2 digit. Yes. Because of fraction sums we have done and the practice paper in the part 1 you will get subtraction sums also and so many multiplication sums so it's very difficult for you to recall all the methods in one time so today as we have done subtraction direct method so subtraction and multiplication two digit we will take today now first of all we will discuss the first sum now i am writing first sum because it's a new sum means new method now the first sum of two digit multiplication directly now as you know that it is a I X I method. In this method as it is a two digit you will take the pattern first of all I. Then cross. And then I. This is a pattern for two digit. For two digit. As you remember, I think so, those students who are not remembering this clearly and for those students will not get this, they can go through first of all the old video and then they can watch this revision video. Now kids, let's start. First of all, you know I. We will start the calculation from right to left. So first of all, we will take this I. I means multiply these numbers. So 2 ones are 2. Next take x. x means multiply them and add them. See 2 ones are 2. 4 twos are 8. 8 plus 2 10. Now for 10 0 can be here and 1 will go carry. Now next after x i. i means 1 digit one. Now 4 to the 8, now 8 plus 1, carry 9. So your answer is 902. Now we will move to our second sum. Our second sum is 4, 9, 7, 3. Now students, first of all, as you know, we will go for I. Now I means this multiplication. So 9, 3 is a 27. 7 will go here. 2 will go here. Or you can put 2 in your mind also. Next is X. X means cross. Now 4, 3 is a 12. 9, 7 is a 63. And 10. 3 plus 2, 5, 6 plus 1, 7, 8, 75 and 2, carry was all there, 75 plus 2, 5, 6, 7, 77, 7 will go here, 7 will go oh, carry. Now next, I means this, 7 goes up, 28, 28 plus 7, add them, see 8 plus 7, 15, 5 will go here, 1 will go carry. 2 plus 1, 3, it's 30. 
part B. So your answer is 3577. I hope kids that you get this two digit multiplication. Now kids we will move to our last sum of this revision video. Now, first of all, multiply i, this i, this. 5 threes are 15, 5 will come here, 1 will go carry. Now, next, cross, cross means this. Multiply them, add them. 6 fives are 30, 3 twos are 6. 30 plus 6, 36. 36 plus 1, 37. 7 will come here, 3 will go carry. Now, 6 twos are 12. Now, i. So I this side. First of all, we have started the equation from right. Now we are going to left. Now I will put here 6 to the 12. 12 plus 3, 15. So 15, 75 is your answer. See, it's a two row sum. 6 and 3. We have solved it in one row and in some minutes. And if you will practice more, you can solve it in some seconds. So kids, in this revision video, we have discussed two methods to it. One is subtraction method in which I have used direct method. You can use indirect also. And the second, we have discussed cross multiplication of two digits. Now kids, with this video, I have given you the sums. Means it's a practice paper part 1. In part 1, you have the sums related to subtraction and cross multiplication of two digits. So kids, just solve that practice paper in your Vedic Maths notebook and in my next video, we will take practice paper 1 but part 2. In part 2, we can discuss 1, 2 or 3 methods also. So kids, make sure to watch every single video and try to do the sums with the use of tricks and 